If you think the federal version of Obamacare has been messy, wait until you see what's happening or not happening out west. Correspondent Dan Springer has the story from Portland, Oregon tonight. Of the 16 state health care exchange websites launched under Obamacare, Cover Oregon sets the bar for futility. After spending a $60 million of a federal grant, the website has failed to sign up a single Oregonian from start to finish. And now Republican Congressman Greg Walden has asked the Government Accountability Office to investigate where all the money went. If this were a car you'd been sold, you'd, you'd get it taken back under the Lemon Law. I mean, this is the, the car dealership would be held accountable. There's also an allegation of criminal behavior. Former Republican state lawmaker Patrick Sheehan went to the FBI to report possible fraud. A source told him state officials lied about the website's readiness in order to keep the federal dollars flowing. If the source is, is correct, then it means that the state of Oregon deliberately deceived the federal government to get federal funding. Two top officials have resigned, including Executive Director Rocky King, who said he was misled by Chief Information Officer Carolyn Lawson. She also resigned. The state's Democratic governor and Obamacare enthusiast John Kitzhaber has called for an independent state investigation, so Cover Oregon is being asked to identify the problems even as they work to fix them. We are happy to answer questions that, that, that people have about Cover Oregon, and if there is a, a oversight that Congress decides to exercise, we'll participate in that fully. Officials argue this $10 million advertising campaign worked. Oregonians are still signing up for coverage by filling out a long paper application and using parts of the website. 35,000 paying customers so far, and triple that when you add Medicaid recipients. Still, there's concern the system is far from being solvent when the federal money runs out. While some are calling for the end of Cover Oregon, Democratic leaders say Republicans like Greg Walden are just trying to score political points. The notion of having a GAO investigation of what's happening in a local state is extraordinarily premature, and if it wasn't for some political campaigns going on, he wouldn't have made that. We should know in a couple of weeks that the GAO is going to investigate Cover Oregon. As for the FBI, they won't comment, calling the allegation one of white-collar fraud. As for the source of that fraud, I can tell you that he has not yet been contacted by the feds. Brett? Dan Springer in a windy Portland. Dan, thank you.